Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the circulation pump on your dishwasher, you will need to fully uninstall the appliance. To do this, turn off the power to the appliance and shut off the water supply valve. Using a flathead screwdriver, rotate the lower access panel fasteners counterclockwise a quarter turn to detach. Remove the access panel and the attached insulation. Use channel lock pliers to unthread the water supply line elbow fitting from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Use a quarter inch hex head nut driver or a T20 Torx bit to unthread the screw, securing the terminal box cover. Remove the cover. Note the orientation of the power wires, then untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the wires. Unthread the screw to release the grounding wire. Unthread the strain relief nut and detach the strain relief and the power wires from the terminal box. Next. Disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Open the dishwasher door and remove the mounting bracket screws. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the legs to lower the appliance. Now gently pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Detach the insulation and set it aside. Tip the dishwasher back and rest the tub on a towel or blanket. Depress the retaining tab and disconnect the circulation pump wire connector. Use pliers to break off the pinch clamp securing the elbow hose to the pump. Use a large flathead screwdriver to help pry the assembly free of the inlet grommet. You can now fully remove the old circulation pump. Before you install the new circulation pump, confirm that the isolator is in place in the sump. Slide a new clamp onto the pump hose. Remove the grommet from the sump and position it on the pump housing. Now insert the pump hanger into the isolator as you insert the grommet into the sump port. Attach the hose to the circulation pump and tighten the clamp to secure. Connect the wire connector to the new pump. Return the dishwasher to its upright position. Replace the insulation and secure it at both the left and right rear corners.
confirmed that the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary. Replace the screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or garbage disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the wires and strain relief in the terminal box. Then thread and tighten the strain relief nut. Secure the grounding wire with the screw. Join the black wires together and the white wires together and secure them with the wire nuts. With the wires positioned inside the terminal box, realign the cover and rethread the screw to secure. Reconnect the water supply line fitting to the inlet valve. Reposition the access panel, making sure the attached insulation does not interfere with the float assembly and the lower edge of the panel touches the floor. Secure the panel by rotating the fasteners clockwise a quarter turn. With the repair completed, turn the water supply back on as well as the power, and your dishwasher should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.